There's a free AI app that lets you copy any website that you want, so stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to teach you how to use it. What's going on everyone? It's Veraxity. Some of you may know me as the homeless guy down the street, but that's besides the point. Today I have an interesting, juicy video for you. So basically there's an AI website that allows you to enter any website you want, and after you hit the enter button, it starts to recreate that entire website for you right down to the pixel. So to sum up the way things are going to go is basically I'm going to show you this website site, and we're going to copy some websites that are out there together, and then I'm going to give some of my final thoughts about this AI. Before we get into that, make sure you're following me on all my social medias because I post different content on each of them. You guys might like my Instagram reels that have been coming out. They're a little bit more hacky, uh, as Instagram lets you say a little bit more things than other websites do. Not going to name those. And also check out veraxity.org if you want to learn about more in-depth hacking tutorials and other hacking-related stuff. You can pick and choose what you want to learn about. It's pretty cool. Go check check it out. But enough beating around the bush, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, sit back, relax, grab a monster, maybe an energy drink of some sorts, grab a ski mask and uh, your Hustler Tate University admittance slip, and let's get right into it. So now that we're on our hacker machine, right, our little hacking box, we're going to start by opening the infamous Tor browser and connecting to the Onion network. But this next step is real important, right? Make sure you follow my instructions to the T. What we're going to be doing is holding in the Windows key, right? and then pressing R. Now, as you can see, Tor Browser has auto-filled into my run dialog. Um, I am a seasoned veteran. What can I say? I've been doing this forever. But if it's not there for you guys, just type chrome.exe and then hit enter. And look at that, we successfully loaded up into Tor Browser, so now we're just going to search up, you know, um, how to hire a hitman. Wait, 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 we're wrong video. Don't follow those instructions, okay? Um, we're gonna actually be going to the website itself. And now the website's name is same.dev. So everybody just type same.dev into their browser and then hit enter, just like this. And once you get to the website, you will be presented with this beauty, all right? Now, this is basically if Kakashi from Naruto was a website. You know, copy ninja Kakashi? Yeah, this is him. So basically, let me just show you how simple this is. If you don't have an account, make one. This thing's entirely free. Uh, unlimited prompts, you name it. So let's just find any website that we want, you know, um, what website do I want to copy here? I think I'm going to copy coolmathgames.com, you remember that? So we're just going to go over here to the uh, prompt bar and we're going to type clone coolmathgames.com. And now let's hit enter and let it work its magic. So as you can see, same says, I'll help you clone the coolmathgames.com website. First, let me visit the site to analyze its design. Um, as you can see, it already visited the website. There's a screenshot. It says, now I'll explore the site to get a better understanding of its structure. Let me check the games page. So now this thing is actively uh, crawling the website, right? <laughs> Dude, this AI is insane, I'm telling you. But it looks like it got a complete games list from the website itself. Uh, let's also look at the game details page to understand how it's structured. So it's, it's literally copying this thing every page of it. And as you can see, it just opened up an IDE. <laughs> That's right, a complete development environment equipped with a terminal, um, a code page, and everything in between to see what's going on, see how it's copying this website. Now I do have to say, uh, this usually takes a while, right? It's going pretty fast, as you can see, but it usually takes like, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes to copy an entire website. So I'm just gonna let this do its thing, and then uh, whenever it's ready, I'm gonna take you to the app page. And on the app page, it runs a completely local version of the website it's trying to copy. So I'll catch you in a second. So I think it's safe to say that I let this thing work its magic for far long enough. Now what we can see from the IDE that it has is it started building a website in HTML, CSS, TypeScript, uh, and running it on Node. If we go to the terminal, you can see it's uh, installed NPM and other dependencies. But now the cool part is whenever we go look at the app tab, you can see that it's literally copied Cool Math Games. Like, look, let me let me bring up another tab. Look, CoolMathGames.com. It's the same website. Like legit, it has copied the UI of this website just about to the T. Now if I let this thing keep going, it's gonna keep on getting more and more accurate to looking like the real website. But as you can see, all the code for this Cool Math Games clone is right here. Looks like it's using Next.js, um, TypeScript, React, a bunch of different libraries, and it has successfully cloned the website. Now let's try a different website. Which one should we try? We're gonna go over here. Let's stop that as to not use up all the resources, and we'll hit delete so we 
we can delete that conversation. Now, what other website out there could we clone? Let's see if we can get this thing to clone SoundCloud, all right? Clone SoundCloud.com. Is that, is that right? Is it SoundCloud.com? It's not SoundCloud.xyz or anything, right? No, it's SoundCloud.com. Okay, let's just, let's clone SoundCloud.com. We're gonna own SoundCloud now. We are the owners. Team of 80 people took me like three seconds to make. Get your game up, SoundCloud. No, but let's just see what this AI does, right? So it's going to SoundCloud.com right now. Visited, it got it captured that. Let's see if that's accurate. And this looks to be accurate. Yeah, that, that's for sure SoundCloud, check it out. So let's just go to the code and see what it started doing. Now it looks like it's using XJS again, TypeScript. Uh, React, a bunch of fancy stuff, right? Oh, our app tab is updated. Okay, we're loading the app. It hasn't deployed anything yet. So let's just let this thing go for a little bit longer and uh, we'll see what we come back to. We'll see if we're gonna be owning SoundCloud. Dude, look at it. It's even like finding the icons and like just, <laughs> it's just jacking everything. Oh my God, this is amazing. Look at it go. Still nothing over here on the app tab. Uh, let's give it just a little bit more time. Okay, so I've let this thing run for about, I don't know, 50 years or so, and let's see what it's created. If we go over to the app tab, you can see that it literally just cloned SoundCloud. Hey, SoundCloud man, shoulda used a middleman, bro. I got your whole website right here, bro. It's over. No, but yeah, guys, that's basically this whole app. It's very powerful, and with great power comes great responsibility, so use this wisely, okay? Don't clone apps and then launch them as your own. Maybe if you wanna see how somebody built their UI, you can use this to clone it and then go from there. You know, be reasonable about this. We're gentlemen, right? But no, guys, without further ado, I'm going to be heading on to the next section of the video, which is my final thoughts and, well, you know, what I think about this. This here Kakashi website cloner. Like, seriously, it just... No, guys, let me give you my final thoughts and input about this website. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the in-between. And that pretty much sums up the video, guys. All in all, do I think this is a good thing or a bad thing that this tool exists? Well, I think it could be a little bit of both. See, this tool gives somebody who might have a monkey brain the power to release an app that they probably shouldn't release. But on the other hand, this tool gives you the ability to actually extract some UI elements and see how they were made. Like I said, it really all depends on the way you use it. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with something called vibe coding, but allegedly vibe coding is whenever you just, you know, spin up an AI with zero background knowledge on how to code or make something secure, depending on what language you're working in, and then you just let the AI do all the work and release an app that could basically get hacked in three seconds. Essentially, you're just creating open databases for people to see and exploit, right? Now, that's a bad thing. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> like I said, if you're gonna use something like this, make sure you use it uh, in a knowledgeable way. Make sure you gain something from it. A real person is always gonna be AI whenever it comes to coding or cybersecurity in any aspect. And if you want to get better at cybersecurity stuff yourself and make sure you're not relying on AI, then go over to veracity.org right now. What are you waiting for? It's going to help you so much. Anyway, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this video. As always, be safe on the internet and, uh, yeah, peace. <laughs>